What's up ladies? Welcome to part 5 of customizing the HTML5 video controls. In this lesson we will focus on programming a full screen toggle button into our custom video player using JavaScript. Now we're going to start with the same code that we left off with in video number 4. We're going to go into our HTML and we're going to add a new button. So let's just grab this and this is going to serve as our full screen button. So in the inner HTML of that button I'm just going to put brackets for now and I'll change this later with some out for some graphics. But for now just to get it programmed I just want some brackets in there and it'll look like kind of like a, a screen box or whatever. And I'll change the ID to full screen button. Full screen BTN. Now let's highlight that ID. Press control C to copy it. Now let's open up our JavaScript. Now here in the top where we're initializing all of our variables let's go ahead and add that one more full screen button. Now let's go into the initialize player function and make sure we add an object reference for that. So let's copy that, put it right there and right there. Now let's also add a click event listener. So we can borrow the code for the play button and put it right under the volume slider and this will be for the full screen button. So full screen button dot add event listener and the event that we want to listen for is click and the function that we want to execute whenever that button is clicked is toggle full screen. That's the name of the function we're going to create. Okay, so we can collapse that code back up because we don't need to see that anymore. And let's go down to the bottom and let's add our new function, toggle full screen. And I'll explain every line in this function for you real quick. So what there is is a method called request full screen. And what you see highlighted right here, that's the standardized syntax for it that everything, all the browser software and all the crap like that will be using in the future. But right now, since this is all like experimental technology until 2014, we have to put some if and else condition statements in here to see if that method is available for the video object. So we're saying if the video object dot request full screen method is available, then we're going to use the request full screen method on the video element and that will make it go full screen else if the vid.webkit request full screen method is available then we're going to use the webkit request full screen method which is for chrome and possibly safari and possibly some other less used browsers else if the video element mo's request full screen method is available then we're going to run that method on the video element and it's that simple this will not work in all browsers yet and I tested it in Firefox and Chrome and it works but it's not going to work in all browsers yet and maybe in 2014 it will be standardized throughout all browsers this request full screen normal syntax now I'm not going to refine this function for you and it might be extra logic that you have to add to it but I'm not going to do it for you I just wanted to show you the base logic about how this could be done now I'm going to test this in Chrome now when I press full screen button here it goes full screen and that's nice now I have the normal default controls back I think that's uh, more of a default browser behavior so when you click it you can go back and forth you can also hit escape once you hit escape it goes back too so really that's all the functionality you need right there for Chrome now let's check it in Firefox preview in Firefox let's hit the full screen button and it goes into full screen but there's no controls but I can just press escape at any time to get back to normal view. 